Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Uh, what are we? We're Sunday in the middle of Easter. Um, we had a job came in uh, on Thursday afternoon and it was uh, extremely urgent. They needed it for Tuesday morning for, for a uh, tool that's got to go out on the rig. Um, and it's three parts, <coughs> three parts from stainless steel. I've machined all those. I completed that machining uh, uh, Friday, Saturday. And this morning I've set up to do the um, uh, boring. I've got a bore and counter bore six holes in the, in the part number one. And I've also got to make two slots, uh, not the full depth, but just part depth uh, in that same part. After that, I've got another two slots similar to do in part number two. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the setup. I'm not going to be doing any drilling or anything. Um, for this movie, uh, always time is my problem with these movies because they take so long <coughs> excuse me, to um, upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the little things that I've done and how I go about um, uh, doing a job like this. So I'll just swing around, um, we'll swing the camera around and uh, we'll take her down a bit. And I'll explain what we've got here. So, what we've done, we've um, set up a couple of uh, parallels and a V block, and um, <coughs> to support this side, the other side's uh, fine in the um, uh, in the dividing head. Uh, we're doing six at sixty degrees, so it's quite easy. We're just using the pin pin lock on the um, uh, on the degree marker here. Um, now we've shimmed, shimmed this uh, V-block up to the correct thing and what we use, uh, we've got, this is left over from, from construction times, but this box which is um, pre-cut tab shim kit and inside here we have all of these shims um, of different sizes and as you can see see here, uh, so that's 0.625 millimetres uh, between 0.25 and 0.023, so 0.025 to 0.023 um, inch, so 23,000, uh, 25,000. And we've got all sorts right up to <coughs> these larger ones that are um, 3 millimetre, so it stacks all the way down, they come all the way down to the finest one I've got is one thousandth of, of, a, of an inch or 0 0.025 millimeter. Um, so these are very very handy and I use them all the time for picking up that fine tuning um, of, uh, of, of a job like this to get it right. <coughs> the second thing I've done, um, I'll just pop over and grab it. The second thing I've done is for the pilot holes and, and uh, that we didn't need it, but we need to lock this side down for all our drilling and counterboring. So what I've done is I've found, uh, I've had two half shells and so I've cleaned up this other, the other half, I've cleaned it up, shined it up, oiled it um, and it's sitting in here and for clamping so that I don't do any marking uh, with the clamping on on the inside of that because that's a critical face in there. Um, well, most of this is critical anyway, but that's a critical face. So that's another way of doing it. Sometimes you can use plastic or poly or um, uh, or brass or whatever, but it's always good to um, protect your part with something intermediate. So that's that's how I'm going about it now. I'm drilling the holes. I've done the pilots, I'm, I'm going through drilling all the holes as I rotate, 60 degree each time, of course we back this off, and because I've got it that nice and shiny and oiled, this doesn't even slip. So when I turn it, um, in fact I'll do just the one just to show, so, so when I turn it, I hope it doesn't make a liar out of me, release off 
and and take that round now to the 300 uh, to the 30 300 degrees um, then it's all in place nothing's moved and all I've got to do is tension it up again and I'm ready for the next drilling so that's it for this part and we'll continue on we'll show some more as we as we go on thank you for watching